Good morning, my beautiful soul peeps. I just wanted to make a correction and clarification in regards to a few things that I said on last night's show because <laughs> I don't get to watch, um, read a lot of the comments and sometimes I rewatch the show live to critique myself and to make sure that I got the message across and to watch the live comments because when I'm on the show, I don't get to read all the live chat. I get to read some of it, but not all of it. It goes pretty quick. Anyway. Sometimes when I'm in spirit mode, I misspeak, and so I didn't mean to confuse people. One thing I completely misspoke about last night was when I was referring to the quick visualization, the quick scene that you need to do before you go to bed and as you, upon awakening, I said 30 minutes. I meant 30 seconds. When I rewatched the show and I, and I realized I said that, I was like, oh shit, I need to clarify that because I don't know about you, but I can't do a visualization, repeat it for 30 minutes, especially right before you go to bed. You're going to fall asleep and your mind's going to be distracted and 30 minutes to stay on any scene and to keep on repeating something is a long amount of time. Um, especially before you go to bed and upon awakening. So I need to clarify that. I misspoke. I apologize. I meant to say 30 seconds. So if you could recreate a scene or create, visualize a scene. Oh my God, look at that beautiful sun. Look at that. We have beautiful autumns here in New England. We have Indian summers. It's gorgeous here. It's just gorgeous. I love the color of the leaves turning. I just don't want it to get much colder. But anyways, I digress. So what I meant to say last night is that create a scene, a visualization, a quick little scene as if what you wanted, your desired wish has already come true. For instance, picture receiving, opening up your, opening up the, your bank app and seeing $10,000 there. Or picture receiving a text with your friend giving you the news that you want to hear for her or picture receiving a phone call and picking up the phone and the HR director offers you the job or picture getting a letter or picture getting an email or a call or a text getting the news that you want a quick 30 second scene a visualization that's what I meant I didn't mean 30 minutes so I'm very sorry you guys were probably like, oh, God, 30 minutes. What the hell is she talking about? That's not easy or quick. So I apologize for <laughs> misspeaking about that. And also I wanted to clarify last night, and this is a shout out to my soul sister, Paulette Richards, Richardson. I think it's Paulette Richards or Richardson. She left a comment and she said, you know, she's, she's one of my regulars and I love you. I'm going to shout out to you, soul sister. Thank you for your comments and your love. She just shouted out, she said, I hope that, you know, you still do current events and you still do your card and tarot reading shows because, um, you know, I'm not willing to give it up completely since November's only a few weeks away. Um, so I apologize if I gave you got, if I gave you all the wrong impression. I did not mean to confuse you or give you the wrong impression. I am going to still be doing my current events, my tarot shows, my yes or no tarot shows. I'm still going to be covering current events and the political scene and worldly affairs. The only difference is that it's not going to be my main focus. I have to make sure that I balance all the negativity with the current events and the politics and what's happening with the spiritual and global war, with the spirituality, the positive energy, and all of the spiritual techniques to get us into 5D. I have to make sure that I balance the 5D spirituality aspect that we need to focus on as well as the 4D current event clown circus. So I hope that clarifies that. I'm not giving up doing my tarot shows. I love doing tarot. It's just that I need to mix it up a little bit. I can't just do current event tarot shows about what's going on globally and politically. I have to make sure that I keep my end of the bargain with Yeshua, the Christ, and our almighty God, the um, all, our almighty creator, loving God, that I have to 
make sure that I teach all the spiritual aspects, the spiritual techniques, and that I also inform you about what's going on energetically. And I also have to remind you about all the spiritual techniques and the spiritual laws. So I have to balance the physical, 4D clown circus current event, tarot readings I do with the spiritual teachings and practices that I teach and the spiritual concept, concepts that I am teaching. That's all. I'm just not focusing just on current events because like I said, I've been a spiritual person all of my life. I did. I was not a truther. I didn't get. I wasn't awakened until later on in the game. But I awakened. So I awakened around the same time you guys, you all did. Probably maybe maybe a few months to a year later. Anyway, we all awakened at our different times. The bottom line is, I'm not giving up tarot. I'm not giving up current events and global affairs. I'm just going to not focus on all that. I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to counterbalance all the negative bullshit with the spirituality because that is my main focus. After all, my profession is all about spiritual. <laughs> I am a spiritual teacher. I do tarot. I do past life readings. I channel. I'm a spiritual chick. I'm not a truther. After all, my channel is Soul Therapy with Lady D. It's not called 4D Clown Circus with Lady D. So, I will see you tonight, Soul Tribe family, on the Light Worry Network with Prince of Peace. Oh, also, back by popular demand, I'm going to be doing many past life readings every other week. So, if you were to order a past life reading, video reading with me, it would be $55 and you would get three lives. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do one life mini readings for $20 on designated live shows. And one of those live shows will be this coming Tuesday. You can pre-order and buy your reading at any time. It's just that you won't get your reading. You, you have to get your reading live on air. So if you want to buy your reading now and, and reserve your spot, I would suggest that you do because I'm only going to be doing 20 of these because these are pretty intense to channel these. So I have to reserve my energy and make sure I don't overdo it and I wanna make sure everyone gets their reading so they don't get upset. So therefore, I am reserving 20 slots. The slots are open now. So whenever I do the thumbnail, that means the slots are open. There is a link in the description of the video. I already did, I already did the thumbnail for the past life mini readings live on air on Tuesday evening. I did the thumbnail, so go into the description of that show and there will be a specific link that you can purchase your reading. I would suggest you purchasing the reading as soon as possible because like I said, these go really quick. The last time I did one of these shows, I had to cut them off because I couldn't keep up with them. So I decided to do this again. So you can purchase your reading ahead of time because I will only be doing 20 of these. There are only 20 slots for this show. I have to cut it and make sure it's, it doesn't go past two hours because it's too much for me and I get tired because channeling takes a lot out of you. So if you wanna get, if you want to be, if you want to reserve a slot for Tuesday night's show, there's only 20 of them, go to the link in the description of the video. I already did the thumbnail. You'll see it on this channel. All right, my Soul Tribe family. See you tonight with the Prince of Peace. Also, see you Tuesday night for many past life readings. And I just thank you for, um, for watching and your continued support. I love you all. Enjoy your Sunday. And here's some beautiful scenery. Love you. Bye.